few things in modern America, sports or otherwise, that there is unanimity on. Yep. I don't even know if we could get, you know, a total 100% consensus on the shape of the earth or the color of the sky. You can't. We can on who is going to finish last in the <laughs> AFC East. <laughs> oh, well, the Jets. Well, the, 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 the New England Patriots come in number four. It doesn't need much description. They don't have a single player draftable in fantasy. They have a good quarterback, they hope, and because of that, they might not play him because they are afraid <laughs> of what that would do. Not great. All right, now to the interesting part. Number three. The New York Jets. There mm. we go. I mm. do not trust More the coaching likely. staff at all. I honestly do Dude. not trust the quarterback. I don't know that Aaron Rodgers, at 40 years old, off an Achilles, having not played in the offseason for reasons I don't understand, is going to be an above average, forget great, above average AFC quarterback. So the New York Jets, despite the fact that I do like the defense, I, especially if they, Hassan Reddick decides he wants to, you know, get a key card, uh, should be decent. I don't trust the coaching staff. I don't trust the offense at all. I don't trust the quarterback there, number three. At number two, the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins, I expect, sadly, to be very similar to last year. I think they have too much talent, raw talent, for the lesser teams to deal with. I think they can look absolutely unbelievable it, in, in, under the right setting, and that doesn't just mean good weather, but it kind of does. Oh, yeah. Certainly in indoors. In a and, right. <laughs> and I think that at times they can pop, but the losses on their offensive line, the personnel losses on defense, the big difference to me is I don't have them or the Jets making the playoffs. Wow. I think this is a one playoff team division. Wow. And that one playoff team is the Buffalo Bills, which I, I think that there has been an over-market correction on the Bills. The entire media was so sick of me being the only person right about them the last four years. They've now gone in the other direction, and now they're too far down on the Bills where people think they could finish third in the division. That won't happen. They're going to have a good, not great, but a good defense, and they're going to have a good, not great, but a good offense because Josh Allen provides a good offense by himself, and Sean McDermott, for his flaws, provides a good defense yeah. almost by himself. Yeah. Those two things will combine for at least 11, 10 or 11 wins. That'll be enough to win the division. I think the Dolphins and Jets both miss, so there it is. Okay. So. I actually think there is a great chance that the New York Jets win the division. The more I think about it, if that Jets defense can continue to be top level, Aaron Rodgers' ability to minimize mistakes and turnovers, which is really extraordinary, quite frankly, you give him a top defense, that should be pretty deadly. It just should be. Listen, it is a question mark. What will Aaron look like this season? What will he look like at the quarterback position from a health perspective? It is it is a, a valid question. I think he's making that recovery. I think he's putting in all the work. This whole I don't trust Aaron that Nick kind of keeps repeating, I think won't really age well, quite frankly, because Aaron does want this. Aaron does want redemption. Aaron does, just even from an ego perspective, Aaron wants to prove everyone wrong. He wants to be back at the top. He wants to win. He wants another Super Bowl. He wants to ball out. He wants it all. He just does. And so to think that he's not going to be doing everything he can to do that, it just it just doesn't make sense. That, there's just no way. Now, I do think that the Bills have the potential to take um, a step back. The Miami Dolphins, it's just so hard for me to know who they are because, right, they, they, they are this typical team where they can blow out, like, historic levels to these lesser teams and then not so much against the good teams. 
And so, like, that can be kind of difficult to be like, well, I don't know. Will they ever be able to play great against other great teams? Like, what's what's the story here? What's what's kind of holding them back? And I think the way how their season ended last season was a little, um, a little, as I have something in my eye, a little misleading because of injuries. Uh, it's kind of the same thing with the Bills to a degree as well. Both those teams had terrible injuries to their to their defenses that really hampered them especially in the playoffs and it just becomes confusing as to like okay but so then what would they look like this year right like what 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 can they do this year but i just think that the jets and we're talking about injuries the jets are arguably the most injury prone team you know have the most injury risk out of the entire nfl because of their age and and players with previous injuries i really think and this and and this is just really my honest take on it all is that if the Jets can just truly stay healthy, I, I really think that they could be elite. I think they could be a top team in the NFL. It's just hard for me to imagine that if you give Aaron Rodgers a top defense in the NFL, that he won't be able to make do offensively. That he can't get down the field and put up a couple touchdowns and a few field goals and a couple field goals. I mean, like that alone should be enough to just win game after game after game. If you're just like, Aaron, man, we just got to get two touchdowns. And then the other two drives, you just got to get us in field goal range, man. As long as we put up like 20 points, our defense will keep it down to like 18, 19, kind of like what the, what the Chiefs did last year. There you go. I mean, that defense has been for real and it's been for real for the last few years like it's not like this was just last year when we talk about the chicago bears being potentially a really good team and their defense and how good their defense was i think it was technically like the best defense in the nfl for the last like six games or so the question to that is well will they actually continue that trend we don't actually know we really don't the green bay packers uh jordan love and the packers were essentially the best team in the NFL, and Jordan Love was the best quarterback in the NFL for the last 10 games. Will that trend continue? The truth is, we don't really know. You just don't. You can, you can, you can make conclusions and, 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 and try your best to, to figure out why or why not, but the, the truth is, you don't know. It is a question mark. With the Jets, their defense has been legit for more than just like a, the final six games, uh, the last 10 games, uh, just last season. Like, this has been a trend for the Jets. So, if anything, it would be more shocking for them to not be a great defensive team, to not have a great defense. I think we can probably conclude that Robert Sala does know how to coach defense, that he is a top defensive mind. Whether or not he can be the head coach, that's a different story. But the one thing that does cause me concern with the Jets is you are absolutely banking 1,000% on Aaron Rodgers for the offense and not Nathaniel Hackett. Take one look at Zach Wilson with the Denver Broncos. And it's obvious he's so much better. He's better. He's He looks so much more comfortable and is playing so much better with the Broncos than he ever looked for the Jets ever it's crazy that's what a coach like Sean Payton can do and it's not like you need it's not like Aaron Rodgers necessarily needs a Sean Payton at this point in his career although it certainly wouldn't have hurt look at what's happening with what what Nathaniel Hackett what is Nathaniel Hackett going to be with Aaron that to me is is the greater question has does Aaron believe that he is better offensively in terms of at least like running an offense and, and in terms of like you know calling the plays because that's what i think i think aaron is is having a tremendous say on the the plays the the play calling right like i the 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 game plan going into each week like i think his dna is going to be all over it and so that's going to be the question is he a savant yes or no does he really under the understand how to run an offense from a schematic standpoint yes or no and that's not that's not an easy answer i don't know if patrick mahomes can do that i have no idea uh, i mean uh, uh tom brady i don't know 
yes or no. When he when he tried to do the offense himself, it didn't work out too well. Granted, it was at the very end of his career where he was hanging on by a thread, so it's a little bit harder to judge, but I don't know. Can Peyton Manning do it? No idea. It's not, it's not always that clear. We know a few players absolutely can. Mainly, you see this a little bit more in basketball, like a LeBron James, right? It's a little bit more easy to see um, someone be uh, a genius in their sport in that regard. I think, I think football, there's just too many moving parts, and you just don't know who's making the decisions at what time, necessarily. So I think that'll be a question mark for the Jets. And if it proves that, yes, dude, he is not only an elite all-time great quarterback, but he also has an elite all-time great understanding of football. And that's been his struggles with the McCarthy, even a Matt LaFleur, is that he wants to do things his way. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong. It's just like he's got a vision. And if you let him execute his vision, maybe he'll be successful. Maybe he will not. And again, that's what you're paying for. That's what you're signing up for this year with the Jets. You are signing up for the Aaron Rodgers experience. And that will be the biggest question mark that the Jets have. But I think if he can prove that, then yes. I I think if Aaron can probably go back in time, and if he knew Russell Wilson was going to be leaving, he probably would have wanted to have gone to Sean Payton and the Denver Broncos, potentially. Um, I, I don't know. You know, uh, Aaron has such – he does have an ego. That that can't be disputed. I think even I – w- I would say he would admit it, but I don't think so. Uh, I think uh, I think Aaron does have those tendencies to not be the most aware in that regard. Um, but, yeah, I, I really think the Jets – to, to just like kind of casually put the Jets at three, I, I, I just don't agree with that. I, I think it could end up being a dogfight between these three teams, but not in a way that I could ever confidently just say, yeah, the Bills are going to win, the Dolphins are going to take two, and the Jets are three. Again, outside of legitimate injuries, I just don't see that happening. And if you said, and if we said, hey, everyone's going to be healthy, everyone's going to be healthy, no issues in that regard, who do you got? I'm going with the Jets. But those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think? Do you think that the New York Jets will win the AFC East? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment, so whether you agree with me or disagree with me. Either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to. Something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much and see you next time.